We are these annual meetings and let me say we are proud that an African country is really hosting this global event in a manner that is uh, very commendable and uh, uh, Morocco has done us Africa proud in the manner in which these meetings are being organized. Uh, just to say that uh, these annual meetings give uh, us an opportunity to look at uh, the global financing architecture to see if it's relevant, if it's meeting the needs of our people. We live in uh, times of crisis. If it's not an earthquake, maybe it's a cyclone. If it's not a cyclone, maybe it's COVID. And uh, what we need most is all these uh, global financing architects to be responsive to the needs of our people. And the speed in the disbursement of the resources is critical because we would, want, we would not want our people to wait too long when they are suffering maybe from an earthquake or maybe from a cyclone like Malawi was hit by Freddy a few months ago. We need the system to be responsive quick and help our people in, an, in the most effective manner. So if you look at the World Bank alone, most of the resources that go to Africa are from uh, what, the, what they call the International Development Association, the IDA. So there is going to be a discussion on uh, IDA 21 allocation and the World Bank is mobilizing resources from its own partners. What I would say is uh, let the partners please uh, donate generously to IDA so that uh, when the money is distributed, Africa is almost always the biggest beneficiary of IDA resources. What we've asked the bank is that once they have IDA resources allocated to various economies, then they need to be able to look at the fluidity of uh, those resources so that they respond to a uh, uh, crisis much quicker because uh, climatic change is here to stay and uh, these challenges will be coming year after year and we now need to put in ready finances when these crises uh, occur. I would say that uh, most of our national budgets they need to look at uh, two issues. One, how do we respond to crises but also at the same time how do we re uh, respond to the issue of debt crisis. So we're having resources being channeled towards debt repayment but at the same time our people are suffering because of crises that are happening. Our main, main message would be that the global community should seriously look at debt suspension uh, or even debt cancellation to allow countries to respond to climatic changes more effectively.